What are you saying people? I am back with you for another video today. And in this video, I'll be talking about how to day trade using technical analysis. So, in a previous video, I talked about how to day trade using fundamental analysis. So that included using news, using due diligence, using what was being talked about, to do your own research on a stock before purchasing. Now I'm gonna talk about how to use technical analysis before you wanna decide if you're gonna invest in a stock or not. So what is technical analysis exactly? Using past charts, indicators, and various patterns to actually decide on what is most likely going to happen with a stock, whether it's going to go up or down. Obviously, in when it comes to stock trading, history tends to repeat itself. And so when it comes to patterns and using indicators, this is very important because those are going to be the signs to tell you what's going to happen next for stock. When you're going to use indicators. You've got things like the SMA, you've got the EMA, you've got a MACD indicator, you've got different indicators which show you different aspects of a stock based on different calculations to let you know what the most likely thing is to happen with a stock. So for example, you've got the EMA and SMA. And what those are, they're moving averages, which tell you what the kind of movement the stock will be doing. The EMA is usually based between 12 and 26 days, and the SMA is more spread out over a longer time. So the longer the period for the SMA, the smoother the chart. Both of these will kind of show what a stock is likely to do and what it's done in the past. It's based, they're both based off a range of different calculations, and that's how to determine what is most likely to happen with a stock. So using these two indicators, before you invest in a stock, you're definitely gonna have to wait and have a look at the chart, which is a 180 day chart, four hour period, and see what SMA and EMA is doing. If it's currently up, it's most likely to be actively trending up. So when you look at the EMA chart for the 180 day period, you're gonna to have to check to see if the candles are trending above the line. And if they are, if they're not, sorry, then you're gonna wait for the break above the line before you start investing in them. SMA is a little bit more complicated, but I'll get into the SMA and EMA in a different video to actually break them down to you and let you know exactly what they are. The MACD indicator is pretty much reflective of what the stock has been doing and just kind of follows the stock to tell you if it's oversold or overbought, and then you can kind of figure out your way from there. So when it comes to research using technical analysis, you will also need to know what kind of patterns they're doing. So if a stock is a horizontal pattern, if a stock is uptrending, if a stock is downtrending, you always want to invest in an uptrending stock if you're using technical analysis. There's no point trading in an actively downtrending stock because guess what? If it was red yesterday, it was red for the past week, it was red for the past month, it's probably going to continue red. If you look at this kind of stock and it's actively downtrending, it's not like to break and have suffer it's not like to break and have a reversal unless there's unbelievable crazy news. But you don't want to gamble on that. So when it comes to patterns, like I said, you've got horizontal, you've got things trending downwards, you've got things trending upwards. You need to make sure that, for example, if a stock usually gets to $2.20 and it starts going down again until $1.60, and that's happened three or four times in, in the last six month periods, when it comes to the next time and the stock is at, let's say, $1.70 and it's slowly going up, it's probably you know going to go up and down, but eventually reach $2.20 before it comes back down. The kind of patterns you have to see because obviously they repeat themselves across time. And if you study the patterns well enough and they are also trending above the 180 day EMA, stuff like that, and the MACD indicator shows that they're gonna, you know, they're rising up, then you gotta go with that. And based on your technical analysis there, you would purchase the stock until it reaches 220 before you, you know, take your profit. Of course, it's not gonna always work exactly as you expect. Sometimes the stock is gonna rise higher. Sometimes the stock will go lower than the estimated price the 170 or whichever is where it bottoms out you know just gonna kind of have to get a feel for it maybe cut losses a little bit earlier in case if you, you know take profits a little bit earlier just kind of have to you know weigh up your options and see what's available for you one thing you need to take into consideration when using technical analysis is old support levels become new resistance levels. and what i mean by that is if a stock is like this and here was the support and it kept hitting the support but suddenly it breaks above breaks below sorry it's going to be a time when it starts hitting the same level and hitting the same level where it used to bottom out. So I mean, the old places where it's supported, where it never used to go under, once it breaks that, that's usually the place where it's going to hit, that's where it's going to max out. It's going to be the new resistance level for stock. Support is the lowest a stock usually hits. Resistance is the highest that usually, a stock usually hits. Old support becomes new resistance levels. Moving on to how you're gonna pick your stocks. Technical analysis, again, you're gonna to have to listen to a little bit about what people are saying, you know. These stocks, you're not gonna to wanna to focus too much on news. You're gonna to have to 
kind of have seen the patterns and analyze these patterns maybe for a longer period than you would with something you're going to do fundamental analysis with because these patterns like i said they're going to repeat themselves over time so you might have to wait for a stock maybe a stock is usually hits a low of 33 dollars and you know it's expected to go up to 44 dollars well if you see it at 33 you're gonna to have to wait a little bit see what it's doing Make sure you analyze your charts properly, use your MACD indicators, use your EMAs, use your SMAs, and just wait to see what the stock is doing the next day. Again, each night, pick two to three stocks and focus on them and focus on their patterns. Now, there's something you, we have called ETFs. ETFs are basically an opposite of each other. Now, for example, for an ETF, one ETF might be shooting up 5% on a day. Well, then it's inverse ETF will be shooting down 5%. So you kind of also have to use these and you know, reflect them on each other. Have a look at what each one's doing before you decide what to do. So natural gas, for example, has ETFs based off natural gas. Oil has ETFs, you know, um, silver, same thing. You're gonna have to see what one's doing. These guys, there's gonna be ETFs which follow the pattern of silver, natural gas, oil, and it's gonna be inverse ETFs. So they do the opposite of natural gas. They do the opposite of oil. They do the opposite of silver. And based on those, based on technical analysis, you're going to see what's moving where and what's doing what. But for example, you need to look out for stuff because, for example, natural gas ETFs, Thursday is a very important day for them because natural gas reports come out on Thursdays. So it can obviously affect things. It can affect patterns. It can affect what's been happening in the past. You always need to take a look out on that. And you need to know those things before you invest in them, invest in stocks. So when it comes to building a watch list for your stocks, Using technical analysis, you don't want to trade something which is actively downtrending. You want to trade something which is actively uptrending. So make sure those stocks on your watch list, if they're downtrending, no matter what patterns have been saying, you don't want to invest in them. Wait until they're actively uptrending when you've there's a confirmation of the actual reversal, then you can actually invest in them. Before then, you don't want to do it because they're probably just going to go down and suffer a break of pattern. And that's when you're going to probably want to cut losses soon or you're gonna panic, you're gonna bag hold, there's a lot of things you'll do which won't be the right things to do. And lastly, there's some lessons I've learned from technical trading which I wanna share with you before you invest in a stock. When you're about to take a position, ask yourself, should I wait until the, after the earnings report? Should I wait until after the natural gas report? Should I wait another day? Should I wait until their reporting comes out? There are a lot of different questions you need to ask yourself before you invest in a stock. And again, patience is so important in this game and so are the mind games. You're gonna see a stock a stock might be at $33, like I said, and it might hit $34 and you're like, okay, it's time to purchase it. It might be, you know, fluctuating up and down. Just wait until it's actively trending up. It's going to hit, you know, 34, 30, 34, 40, 35. And when you see it really starting to move, then you can invest in it and stick with your plan to get out at $43, $43, 50 whatever. Even if you want to get out at $44, that's fine. But don't see it hit $33, bottom out, and think, okay, I'm going to invest in it straight away. Because if it suffers a reversal and a break of pattern, it's gonna when it comes to technical trading it is extremely 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 important to look at the risk rather than the reward i can't stress enough how important this is a lot of times we see oh this stock could give me 10 percent, it could give me 15 percent, and you invest in it straight away saying oh yeah it's gonna reverse i know it's about to go up and then you see a breaking pattern and it ruins your whole plan and before you know it you're forced to bag hold something because you don't want to sell so you need to be careful with this kind of stuff and again like i said Look at the risk rather than the reward. Now, for that reason, ask myself three different questions before I invest in a stock when I technical trade, and you should do the same. Number one, do I see value in it? Number two, do I understand the pattern? And number three, is the opportunity cost worth it? I.e., is it a good deal? If you think about these to yourself and ask yourself these questions, you're sure to invest in a stock at the right time when you day trade, and more often than not, you actually gain profit instead of having to cut losses and take losses. In a later video, I'll talk to you more about patterns and, you know, indicators like the VWAP, you know, how to know if a stock is uptrending based on a VWAP, is it trending between the upper and middle VWAP, you know, has it bounced on the lower VWAP, like, you know, just stuff like that based on, you know, the break above the EMA. So that's pretty much it for today's video for the technical trading side of things. If you enjoyed my tips, hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, all of that, all of that. And I'll see you in the future for another video. Peace.